Welcome to another episode of Tinkering Experiments. In this episode, we'll be trying to use the laser cutter to smooth out our 3D printed parts. One of our viewers asked us whether or not we can use the laser cutter to smooth it out, so here we are trying to find out whether or not we can do it. We'll take a look at the print before we put it into the laser cutter. Here it is. We can feel and see the individual layers. Let's start. So laser cutters work in a way like an hourglass, where if you level it further away, the more the laser disperses. So we are going to level it further away so the laser concentration is actually lower, so it's not as powerful. So we can see with a ruler here that we actually leveled our laser cutter 95 millimeters further away than usual. We'll test it with a piece of wood first. So we played around with the settings and we are finally ready to test it out with PLA with a laser strength of 65. We believe the laser strength of 65 yields the best results. It's completely melting the surface of the PLA and it seems like the laser strength is actually too strong. We'll switch to the other side and try it with a laser strength of 45 instead. Hmm, it's still melting the surface. Last of all, we'll try on the front face of the PLA model with a laser strength of 40. Hey, it's actually not melting the PLA on the head. It looks pretty good so far. Now that it's done, let's take a closer look at the print. Here is the first side where we use the laser strength of 65. We can see it melted the top layer and the surface is all glossy. The PLA also caved in from the laser and we can also see the infill now. On the other side, a laser strength of 45, it still melted the surface and it caved in a bit, similar to the first side with glossy surface and the infill lines are visible now. Last of all, the front face. The parts that were higher didn't see much action but the flat face saw a lot. It's now glossy but didn't cave in and it's also smooth to the touch. Well there we have it, we tried to use the laser cutter to smooth out our print and it came out alright. One thing I noticed is this method is limited by a lot of factors. The top layer needs to be thicker or the infill has to be 100% and you can only do it on flat surfaces. If you have a part that satisfies all of them, then this method could work really well in my opinion. Before I end, I just want to remind everyone about Tinkering U. The platform has a lot of teaching resources like 3D printing courses, Steam challenges, and CAD tutorials. So be sure to check it out. That's the end of our experiment. If you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up, and if you did not, then a thumbs down below. Remember to subscribe and comment on what experiments you would like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Tinker out.